What's good to the tribe? It's Winagi. Wanted to stop by and drop a clip off to you guys. But before we start, stop, hit the like button, and I appreciate you guys. I hope everybody's safe, secure, and as healthy as can be. And again, stop and hit that like button before you continue the video. Appreciate you. But I'm, I'm talking about what I always talk about, what I've been talking about for years now. And we can kind of see stuff coming to, I don't know if it's a head or what it is, but stuff is, is actually moving and progressing. You can see it now. Everybody's talking about their lineage. Everybody's talking about their relatives. Everybody is talking about where they're from and where their ancestors were from, which is an awesome feeling right now. Because like I say, years ago, people wasn't that much on genealogy at all. I remember people saying bump genealogy, F genealogy. Why do everybody always talk about genealogy? Oh, them some bougie Indians over there. So they part of a tribe because they know their genealogy. So it's just, it's just crazy now seeing everything unfold. And I've watched it unfold. I've watched it unfold. It was crazy because I was the other day just going through old videos and 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 re-listening to myself years ago. And it's and it's crazy because I'm I'm kind of still on the same message. Genealogy is the key. And I've been hearing backlash about genealogy is the key. I've been hearing people talk about it, which I don't give a fuck. Because I know genealogy is the freaking key. It's no group of people out here as far as genealogy is the key. There's no group of people out here pushing that. That's just a phrase that I made up a long time ago when I was ghost in the chats. And I'm pretty sure people can remember that. And if you do remember that, definitely drop a comment. But I'm sitting here looking through these old videos and I have a lot of videos on private right now. A lot of videos on private just for whatever reasons or not being able to be showed on YouTube or whatever. But I started to see some of my old like genealogy videos where I was actually showing relatives, actually putting out records, actually doing things like that. What's good to the tribes? Genealogy story number one. Figured I'd bring a couple stories from my lineage. I have a couple trees out here and there. Um, we'll get it in. I'll bring you stories just to show you how important it is to research yourself back. Everybody's talking about genealogy now, but how many of us are really doing it? How many of us have boots to the ground actually seeing if they're real American Indians? And this is back in a time if if people were following me back then, me and Lex Will kind of had a, a fallout. Which I'll say this. Shout out to that that man Lex Will. Alright, so a couple weeks ago, uh uh tech conflict uh, occurred. And during this tech conflict uh, I was insulted for things uh, I really don't know, uh, and I made some insults based on these people having channels and not utilizing them for the uh, 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 for 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 the, the greatness that they could have. This man uh, added his uh, family, so uh, I I recant. Everything I said after I was insulted. 
And that's pretty much all my statements, right? I don't know what brought you over to insult me, but you know, uh, you know, doing this, you know, obviously, just makes you a better person. So, good job and good luck on your journey. Shout out to him, because back in the day, he he definitely lit a fire under me when we were going through. Because we would talk about genealogy, but we wouldn't show as much. And so I kind of got into a. I'll say a disagreement. We got in a disagreement and we were going back and forth, back and forth with other stuff. And I don't want to get too deep into that, but he definitely lit a fire. And that's what made me want to, besides my family, my relative, well, my relatives, my wife, my big bros and everybody else pushing it. But it kind of gave me a little fire to actually put it out there and show a little bit of my genealogy, a little bit of my records, which I still have a couple up here or there. And I kind of took them down because I remember people were saying people were stealing people's ancestors. And I didn't want that to happen to my ancestors. So I kind of put it on private and, and left it at that. We're all having this talk about reparations and about restitution, about getting land back, getting money back, getting all these things back. And like I say, we can't generalize shit. We can't all go to a courthouse or go go to the state or senate or wherever you may have it that we have to take this to and generalize this if your people came off a slave ship you have to be able to prove they came off a slave ship or prove they were here during those times same way with being an american indian if you are from the soil or from the land you have to be able to prove it. You have to show and prove. That long time ago, we used to have a hashtag, hashtag prove it. It's not enough to say it anymore. You have to be able to prove this stuff. Can you prove it? Can you prove that you are what you say you are. And it's only one real way to tell this, and that is genealogy. We all wanna help each other and help everybody out here and come together as a cause, but if we don't know self, what's the saying? Know thyself. If you don't know thyself, or you don't know anything that's going on in your world, it's gonna be kind of hard to help the next man when you can't even stand on your, your square, so to say. It's gonna be kind of hard. It's gonna be very hard. So I'm gonna keep saying this anytime I feel like it, in a chat or on a video. Genealogy is the fucking key, period. That's the way you found out you were American Indian. Choctaw. Catawba. Cherokee. Antioquia. Saponi. Mohawk. And the list goes on. It goes on. And those might not be the right names for all tribes, but I'm putting it in a term where everybody understands what I'm saying. You would not know that you were American Indian or you were whatever tribe you are 
without genealogy. Half of us wouldn't even know who our second or third time great grandparents were. We wouldn't know. We wouldn't know their names. We wouldn't know where they were from. We wouldn't know what they were doing. We wouldn't know what they were doing during that time. We wouldn't know their migration patterns, how they moved from South Carolina to, to New York and, and back somewhere else. Or Ohio to South Carolina, back to Ohio to North Carolina or whatever. You wouldn't know these things. Know thyself. I know everybody is trying to push this along and everybody thinks they have the right answer for how this should be done. But like on a basketball team, a football team, any other sport out here, it's different positions that makes up a whole team. I can't be the point guard and the center at the same time. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. So you have some people out here that are teaching history. Some people out here that are pushing genealogy. Some people out here that are selfless service are helping people out here. We all see things through different lenses, which are your eyes. We all view this world differently. We view it differently. So what I think might be right or what history I might know, it may not be right to you. But enough with, with my rant. I definitely want to go into this clip. And it's about him being able to show and prove that his ancestors own this land they have the deed to this land but then it also shows that you might need a little bit more than that you might need to be able to prove something a little bit more to get what's owed to you which granted we keep going the way we're going and the way everybody is coming together right now whether it's fba Aboriginal, American Indian, whatever the fuck you want to call yourself. You can see it turning into a strong ass fist to knock motherfuckers the fuck out. This is all happening for a reason right now. And if people can't see it, they're lost. But let's get into the clip. Let's get it. See, tonight a local family is asking for restitution after discovering their ancestors' once owned property that is now in possession of the state. CBS 13's Lena Jones with the efforts to take back what's theirs and reclaim their land. Nestled on the American River, the tiny town of Coloma is known for its gold rush history. But there's a piece of the story one family says is missing. I think about how land's been lost. I think about secrets that have never been revealed. Jonathan Burgess has spent years researching the area. He claims his great-grandfather, Rufus Burgess, buried in Pioneer Cemetery, owned 80 acres of land, including a manual church, still standing today. This, in fact, is a building that once we owned. And as far as I'm concerned, we still own because we have the deed to it. The chained up chapel, the first African-American church in the region, now sits in the Marshall Gold Discovery State Historic Park. And once we tell the truth, we can restore what once was. A deed from 1879 shows the land was bought by Burgess's family. California's Parks Department tells CBS 13 their records show the family owned the lot next to the church instead adding more research is needed to understand the quote historical sequence of property ownership. We have nothing to show of it today except for a fraudulent map on file that says we only owned eight acres. And this is the time for folks to make amends. 
Kavon Ward is the co-founder of Where's My Land, an organization that advocates on behalf of black families to reclaim lost land. We will not go away. We will not shut up. We will not stop demanding reparations. Last year, Ward successfully helped return ownership of Bruce's Beach in Los Angeles. Her efforts prompted a state law making it possible. Ward hopes she can do the same for Burgess's family. I would like to see statewide policy that allows for all Black people who have had their land stolen to have it returned and or restitution. A family's missing legacy. There's so much that would be different. Burgess hopes will soon be restored. Just as much as it is about reclaiming, it's as much about telling the truthful history. Burgess says after three years of talks with the state's park department, no progress has been made. He's now hoping the governor's office will investigate. So that was the clip. You can see that he had the paperwork that his family did own the church, on the land, and a bunch of acres. But then their system is coming back that he didn't, he owned a couple acres and it wasn't nowhere near the church. But they have the deed to the church, which is crazy to me. So just a little food for thought. You wanna be able to prove as much as you can who you are, who your relatives were, and what was taken from you. You need to be able to prove this. Stop with all generalizing shit. And that's for Pan-Africans, that's for American Indians, that's for whatever people want to call themselves. It's just tighten it up. We're tightening it up. We're tightening it up. But I just leave you guys with that. I love you guys. Make sure you guys support the channel. Feathers up, tribe up, wise up, rise up.